Ram Ram, welcome to the Why Stories. I'm Yuvragi, and here I am with yet another story on the special occasion of Mother's Day. Before I begin, I'd like to pay my tribute to all the mothers across the world, especially the mothers whose children are serving the armed forces, be it army, navy, or the air force. So this story is dedicated to you. The story is about Panna Dai. Now Panna Dai is. a very popular figure from the land of mewar in rajasthan and she epitomizes a figure of courage patriotism loyalty someone who made a big big personal sacrifice to secure our present so let's listen to her story for that imagine that you are back in the 16th century in mewar the entire kingdom is grieving the loss of their maharana maharana sangram singh ji popularly known as rana sanga now the throne is passing on to his young infant son uday singh uday singh is a baby and at that time he is not ready to rule so the nobles of mewar have appointed his distant cousin banwir to be the royal regent So a royal regent is someone who rules instead of the infant future king until he comes of age. However, Banwir had his own evil plans to ascend to the throne and the only only person that was a roadblock on his way to the throne was baby little prince to be Maharana Uday Singh ji. Now coming back to Panna Dai, Dai literally means a nurse. and panna means emerald so that is what her name was and she was a royal maid to queen karnavati who is uday singh ji's mother and she had promised the queen to look after the little prince just like her own son chandan but she was a widow and the only reason for her to live in this world was her only child chandan chandan and uday singh ji were the same age she was also the wet nurse not just a nurse but a wet nurse she breastfed both uday singh ji and chandan so that way she was like a second mother to uday singh ji so both the children were under her care she would feed them nurse them look after them and she had vowed to be loyal to the throne to little uday singh ji and promised his mother to always look after him just like her own son now Banvir had set out assassins to kill the one and only hindrance to his way to ascend the throne which was Uday Singh ji and when Panna came to know that assassins are already on their way and they had entered the palace she had no choice she had to make a quick decision and what did she decide it is the most hardest thing and i don't know if i would have done that but she did it her patriotism was another level and her value of that promise she had made to queen karnavati was more than her own child more than her own life so there was not much time and she made a quick decision she asked one of the maids to take little prince uday in a little basket and wait for her next to the river and instead of the prince she woke her little son chandan dressed him in princess clothes and put him back to sleep in the princess's princess cot and just when the assassin approached and they they threatened her to kill and say where is prince uday she just quick, quietly pointed out to the cradle and said he's just a child but they didn't listen and with one strike of the sword she saw her own child being slaughtered right in front of her eyes but the courage of that woman she knew what was important she knew if the secret came out the assassins wouldn't stop in their search for the prince so she did not even let one tear roll down her eyes as she stood there stunned watching her own child being killed ah. and that very night she set out when no one was watching with little prince uday wrapped in a basket carrying him the future of mewar on her head and she walked walked all the way to kumbalgarh see she sought refuge there and got the 
governor there to promise not to let anyone know that the prince was alive and after many many years of her struggle she collected all the noblemen and the chieftains and when the prince was of age he declared a war against banvir and won and walked back as the maharana of mewar the entire country the entire mewar owes their present and what their future beholds to the sacrifices of such strong women it it takes another level of courage to do something that she did and when i tell this story to my children they turn around and question like mama why did she not run why did she not take both the children and run or why did she just care for the prince she should have just taken her child and run for her life why did she have to do that and it's so hard for me to explain to them that why she did what she did if you have any suggestions do give me in your comments how do i explain why she did what she did i didn't mention courage i didn't mention that patriotism that love for her motherland was much more than her love for her own child it meant more to give up the reason for which she was alive for the future of her motherland so that was today's story i hope you enjoyed it until we meet again ram ram